Hello, my name is VortexWarp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I present to you the improved minecart sorter. So this system uh, has a selection of minecarts stored in it, as you can see, with items within them. And you can simply put in all of your items into this chest and it will distribute them throughout the minecarts, cycling them through. Now you can have um, this display here. Um, or you can extend it upwards like this, uh, which also works wonderfully. So as you can see here, you can store quite a large amount of minecarts in. Um, although you do have to store them vertically at this point in time. And the more you expand the design, the more problems you have to overcome. Which make the redstone a teeny bit more complicated, but as you can see, it's not too complicated. There's just a bit at the bottom and a bit at the top. Uh, this is the most compact I can make the design. So this one stores four minecarts in a... Uh, six by six by four space, so one, two, three, four, and then six high and six across. Um, that's discounting this space here, which does need to be made of solid blocks, so it's technically seven wide, um, just to hold the water in, um, and that block can be any block. So you need a block to hold the water in and a block there, and you need also a block on top. But apart from that, that's the most compact I could make the system. Um, so let me show you in action um, first. So in my inventory, I have a bunch of the items which we're going to be storing in this place. Um, and as you can see here, we've got a bunch of chests. So this bottom one is the grass. So if we start off just by putting, let's say, uh, 16 oak planks in, um, you can see the system cycles through and it gets rid of the first minecart and then it finds actually the oak planks fit into this one. So it stops and starts filling them. So this is actually a concept that I made a video of quite a while ago. Um, and that is this design over here, which I first imported into my new redstone testing world before. And this is much more, much bigger. And it does the exact same thing, but my design does it faster. So I've made use of the bubble elevators here on the side, as well as uh, many observer block mechanics and new things I've learned um, about this item sorter here, which is a completely different design to the one over there, um, which is surprising, seeing as there's not many. But anyway, they, so those have gone in. So let's start off. And now we're just going to shove a bunch of stuff in. So we'll put some poppies, we'll put some dirt, we'll put a little bit more wood in, we'll put some stone, and we'll put some grass in. And you can see the items start to filter through. So what actually happens is the minecarts get sent up here, up this water elevator, and then out. Um, until they start filling in, and then once it's full, it realises and starts looking for the next item, which it does. And of course the minecarts are still cycling around continuously. Um, occasionally minecart gets stuck at the bottom, which is why on this design, which actually uses a tripwire there, because it's much taller, there's sometimes a minecart up there, but that's fine, it still works. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's already, well, it's filling up, it's doing the grass at the moment, but apart from that, it's practically done. So let's see, let's see it in action. It looks pretty cool as well, and it's useful for those items that you don't store a lot of, but you store quite a few of. Um, or you can have it as your main storage system, like I used over here. So this is a much bigger design, so let's take a few items from here. I'm not sure what I'm storing. I'm storing redstone, I'm storing carpet, um, I'm storing oak fence. So actually you don't have to have just one item type in each, you can have multiple as well. Um, and yeah, let's go for some TNT as well. So let's shove in all of these things. So uh, redstone, TNT, fence gates, and let's throw in a couple of, of carpets too. And it actually sorts through the whole bunch of them uh, quite well, actually. I'm surprised. Uh, well, I'm not surprised I built it, but it's really compact. I'm going to get on with the tutorial shortly, though. Um, I'll start by doing the tutorial for this this one over here, I think, um, which is the same as this one, just a little bit taller. And then I'll explain to you how to expand it upwards, because I think this is really practical, and I'm certainly going to be use it for some of those not so well used items in my next survival world. The resources that you will need to build this design are shown in my inventory. The items on the left is the exact amount of the item that you will need, and the item on the right may vary depending on how high you build it. Afterwards, I will show you the modification uh, to make it extremely tall. Um, of course, it's not necessary though, if you're only building um, a small little one but if you're building a tall one then i'll show you the modification which requires a few extra items but this is what you'll need let's crack on with the tutorial okay so for the tutorial you want to start off with a block here which is going to be your floor block and then you want to come behind and place a bottom slab there then you want to come down to the right with a redstone block and place another redstone block on its face two regular blocks here and then go up with a soul sand block there you also want to place um 
uh, slab, which is level there, which is the top slab, and two blocks there, and two blocks here as well, which are regular blocks. You also want to block off here, um, that can just be with the wall, because that's going to be where the edge of it is. And then you want to place a sign on this slab, you want to place two rails here, in this order, a rail here, oh, sorry, two rails there, two regular rails there, and a regular rail, and a powered rail there, with a block behind there, and then you can break this rail like so. Okay, so now you know this is where your tube is going to go. You can build up your tube as high as you want, um, just on the two sides there. And then behind uh, this one here, you want to place yourself a sticky piston facing inwards like so on that block. Then you want to come behind and you want to place a hopper going into there, a hopper going into there, and a hopper going into there like so. Then you want to take a comparator output from that top hopper and run it into a have a top slab there with a piece of redstone dust on top. Using your observer blocks, you want to go on top of that, go up, across, and down, which will go into a sticky piston with a block there, like so, and that will be that stage done. And then you want to place a block there and a piece of redstone dust on its face, like so. So now we're going to come down to this second hopper, this bottom one, sorry, and we're going to take a comparator output from that, and we're going to come round like this. So we're going to take a comparator output with our regular comparator there. We're going to have two redstone dust there and two repeaters pointing this direction and we're going to take a resting torch and place it there okay now for the hoppers we're going to place a temporary block on here we're going to put a hopper there break this block and put a hopper there and then we're going to pop an item inside of there that can be any item you would like i'm just going to pop a rail in there okay now you just need to take a comparator output from this hopper here and take your observer block detect that place a resting dust on top of the observer and a block on top of this sticky piston here and that's the bottom section done. You just need to place a chest on top of those hoppers. So we're going to place our chest there, um, which can be a double chest. And then you can do whatever you want. You can use some extra hoppers to direct the input like this, which is how I've been doing it with my normal designs. So you use an extra hopper and some extra chests there. Or you can just leave it like that if you're planning for a small design like this one. Okay, so now for the final stint, we're going to build up this as high as we would like. So I'm just going to go up a couple of blocks here like so. Um, up to there and we're going to replace this one with a redstone block so let's get our redstone block from our inventory and place it there and we're going to replace this one with a regular piston or there's one thing that i forgot to mention on the resource list which is a bit of string and you're going to place that there then you're going to detect it with an observer run it into a sticky piston like so then you're going to have a rest a block on its face like that an observer block facing that way and an observer block facing that way here observer block there and then we're going to place a block here with a redstone dot on its top, like so. All you need to do now is place a block here, and a block here, and then fill up this to the top so it extends one up. You might want to put some stuff on top of that chest, uh, so I would use some stairs for that, or maybe some glass or something, and fill in that block there too. And then you're simply done, you just need to cover up the front, pop a few rails um, on this top section, and fill up your thing. Okay, so put the rails on like that, and the, the minecarts will come up here. You need to fill up your column with water. Oops, I did not mean to activate that. So that might be a little bit hard to do, but just fill it up. With We're going to fill it up with water up to the top. I would suggest putting a few blocks here just to stop the minecarts escaping. Um, and then a couple of blocks here as well. So let's pop a block there and a regular block there. Okay, so you can start filling up with minecarts. I would suggest popping them down to start with. Um, do this before you fill in the items in the bottom section. You want to fill it just to the top. Um, well, you don't even have to fill it to the top, but there we are. And you want to make sure every minecart has at least one space occupied uh, in it. So you could have some filler items to go in there, or you could have multiple types in one. Just fill it up as much as you can uh, with items. So each minecart should have its own specific item in it, um, one in each space, and then the rest of it will start filling up on its own. So I'm just filling it up with random items, um, you can even have many items in the same zone um, and then you want to yeah, fill it up just like so. Just doing this randomly, there's not really any pattern to it, it doesn't really matter how they're filled. Um, that's all filled, I think there's one more minecart up here. Yeah, I'll just fill it up with chests again, a lot of them have chests in. Uh, you can have multiple minecarts with the same item in as well, which is good about this design. 
Okay, so all your minecarts are in, as you've decided, and now you just need to come around and add in some filter items. To prime your new minecart system, you're going to need 42 junk items named anything. Um, you're not going to name anything else you put into the system, such as filter here, and make sure you burn any other items. In the top, you're going to need to first move the system block over here, um, which is quite simple, and then just simply put some items in here. That's fine. Um, fill it up like that so it's got 18 in um, and then we can take the items from here and do the same so it's 18 and then three so there's one space in here one space in here and let's fill it up like that as you can see so now, all that's left to do is prove that this works and i've got to hope it does work otherwise it's going to be very embarrassing for me we just need to cap a block up here and then let's see let's go for rails so we're going to put some rails in this top chest uh, like so and we can watch as the system works and it does work hooray we've proved ourselves the rails are filling in and this system is great um you can build multiple of these actually side by side if you want or you can build one big system that sorts all your minecarts you could even pipe some minecarts in uh, from a transport system and then pipe them out the other side it's very flexible but now i'm going to show you how to make the modifications to the design Okay, so if you want to make the design taller, there are a few modifications that you need to make. So firstly, I'm going to rip out all of this top section because we're moving it to a new location. So like this, and we're just going to extend these up a long way, like so. And we'll keep this looking nice and flush because it's nice looking. So yeah, oh, that's close. So let's just build this up. Oops, like so. With, with blocks and we're going to do the same on this side so this is how you will build yours up like that i'm just going to build it this high for now uh but generally um you probably won't need it if it's this high although you might that's quite high yeah i found that was you needed it definitely for that um so you probably will need it for this height so let's get on with the tutorial so for a tool design you are going to have to have your mind fixed on a set amount of minecarts first i'll show you the modification to the top section so you simply place it in like this and that's going to be the top of your design then you need to come down break a hole here and what you want to do is actually fill in um place for a trip wire so this is going to, you're going to have to decide it's going to be the top of where your system is so that's where the top minecart is stored and we're going to pop a string in there like so and then we're going to place a torch there block and another torch here um, and then what we're going to do is of course have our piston here and of course what we want is a hopper clock, so we're going to have... I mistakenly placed this in the wrong place, it needs to go here. Um, and we're going to have a hopper clock, so we're going to have a hopper there, and a hopper there. And then we're going to have the output of the hopper clock going here, and then simply fill in one item. So this will always pulse, um, I'm just going to place a block on top of that. Oops. Yeah, a block on top like that. So this is always going to pulse. Um, unless this is activated so what you then need to do is grab your minecarts um, i would suggest you place them here and then fill them up from here otherwise it can get challenging but simply pipe them through uh, making sure they're filled of course until they activate the tripwire and then you want to pump one extra into the system and that's your amount of minecarts so you want to sort so then all you need to do is fill up your water elevator with water so i'm going to do that now so one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure it extends all the way to the top. Make sure to replace your block here. Again, I would suggest putting a block there to stop the minecart spilling out and one there too. And that's the top section modifications done. The modifications for the bottom section are even simpler. Above this redstone block, you want to place a block with a piece of redstone dust on its face. And then out here, you want to place a redstone repeater. And then what you want to do is go up by two observers here. Then you want to place a sticky piston here with a redstone block on its face. And Finally, to finish it off, you will need to just come behind and place behind this piston and on top of this hopper a block. Then you need to remove these two here and place them here, here and here instead. Then all you need to do is uh, put this, this block back here, take these filter items out of here and return them back to their rightful place in this hopper make sure there's the right amount in both of these hoppers that's all um, and i'll give you a test just to show that this system works just a friendly reminder that you can indeed um, break in here and put an extra chest in um, in case you need to have an easier input and let's just say we want some hoppers so 
I've got to be careful about that too. So put like a glass block or any transparent block above that. Um, so let's look for some hoppers. I know there's definitely some chests in the system and there's definitely some white stained glass as well. Um, and now we need to do, of course, is move this block back here to prime the system because it activated by accident. And you should see the system now functions perfectly. It's going in here. I'm just going to prove to you that it does work. And yes, it is a bit more bulky than before, but it's still reasonable size, I'd say. And again, if you want to keep it a nice, compact, simple solution, build this one here. This is the minimum size you can build it. So yeah, right above this slab is the level of the redstone block when you start building the top section. And I am certainly going to be building some of these in my base. Thank you for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as you can see, I think it's actually finished sorting these items already. It's quite a quick system, actually. You'll be surprised. Um, has it finished? Yes, it has. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.